Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And this doesn't look like the sea. So I'm equally as disappointed as you might be, but uh, today being Sunday, tomorrow is the day when we actually can move further than our five kilometers here in Ireland. So I've decided to come back for one more time back to a woods, but back to a different woods now. It's the woods that I discovered around two months ago, my new playground. And I've shot two episodes of my vlog here. One actually when I had some fog, if you haven't seen that, I'll link to that above here, but I'm now in a completely different part of the woods that I haven't filmed in before. It is a spot that I've come walking with the family and there's a lot of trees here that are heavily moss laden. So what I was hoping for is where we are here is west is over here. The sun will hopefully be able to light up these if I get some nice orange glow later before sunset. And that's what I'm hopeful for, to get a nice bit of soft light that will come in here light up this area and give me something different to photograph. Hopefully it turns out, best plans can always, you know, not come to work, but hopefully it does actually pan out and uh, yeah, we'll see what type of photographs anyway we can get here today. Now I found my first composition here and it is a very, very old tree, but this part that I'm on at the moment has actually broken off the tree a long, long time ago because it's completely covered in moss. But as it comes down here, as you can see, it splits off in two different directions. So what I've done here is, as you can see, I still have the camera in front of you here. Um, so I'm composing the photograph with this, which is the main trunk leading in and then splitting out into two. And I'm taking a number of different exposures because I'm close enough to the, to the trunk of the tree. I want to make sure I get everything uh, in focus. Plus, because this is a small bit shaded, the clouds, uh, the sun has gone behind some clouds there as well. So I'm going to do two different types of exposures. So one for here and then one for the background as well. So I can keep some detail within the sky. But definitely uh, a nice tree. Definitely, I think, an interesting first shot anyway. Um, and I've taken it actually in two directions. So. I've taken it from where you are, looking down this way, and I've also taken it from here, looking back up, because above, behind you, the tree also comes back out as well, like this. So it's more or less mirroring itself on both sides. So I've taken a shot from both directions, same technique in both, and yeah, I'll show you both those images anyway, and we can see which one works out best. Let me know actually in the comments which one you think, and which one you prefer. The next spot now that I've come along to in this woods is an area where there's a mound that's here and there's some new fresh grasses that are growing on it. There's a fallen branch as well, or fallen, fallen trunk of a tree, with a nice V that's coming out of that as well. So what I've done is brought the camera down low, not too low because I still want to be able to see some details in this mound, but I'm composing the shot that this is going to be an anchor point on the bottom right, more or less center, bottom center of the image. And then you're going to have that log that's coming out here and then going off into the distance of the woods. The sun is out at the moment, so it's brightening up this area, maybe a bit too bright as well. So I'm finding that I'm underexposing because one thing I want to really try today is try things different. So what I'm going to do is underexposed purely just for the highlights for the brightest part which means that the wood itself will be dark even though that it's bright here right now but I want to try and do that to bring some attention within the image for where I want the eye to go. One of the challenges that I've learned in this entire lockdown is that woodland photography is not that easy. 
there's a lot of chaos in the woodland and it's, you know, it's a tough challenge to try and find a composition and bring some order to that chaos. But by using the light, which is something I'm going to try anyway do today, I think it could be an interesting photograph. Settings at the moment, I'm at f11 and one tenth of a second and I've got my ISO at 100. And I'll play around with that and see what type of photograph that I can get. Play around with the exposure. If the sun goes behind a cloud, it might actually be ideal because I get a nice flatness as well, as opposed to having to deal with some highlights that are there. But yeah, I think, you know, this place could be really nice if I do get that uh, golden light that I'm hoping for in uh, a couple of hours time, because I'm here plenty of time for sunset. So yeah, I'll show you this image anyway now, and yeah, we'll continue exploring here. We'll see what we can find. Might take out the long lens as well and take a couple of shots as well while I'm here, but yeah, for now anyway, we'll show you this one, and let's move on and see what else we can find. The next shot now that I'm going for is actually something totally different. As you can see here, I have the camera really, really low and the light is streaming in here now and lighting up the barks of these trees quite nice. So what I've decided to do is get almost ground level and I'm going to take a photograph of the avenue that's leading here and there's one tree then at the very end of that. You may not be able to see that actually on that camera, but um, similar again to the other shots, a lot of focus stacking doing today, a lot of exposures and different types of exposures as well so it's a bit of a gamble whether or not i'll be able to get the images to get together when i get them back uh, at home but definitely something that i'm enjoying doing anyway um, the light hopefully still has possibilities it will be nice so we'll see we'll see how we get on anyway here today but yeah this one uh, might work might not work but most definitely something different anyway to try down by the river and I've never come down this area actually but I've been walking here because I've had the kids with me so I didn't want to come near the water but um, when I first arrived down here the sunlight was just catching these trees that you can just see uh, right here so these trees were being caught by light and they were glowing so what I decided to do is to go right down into the water so I have my camera probably four inches away from the water at the moment um, and put on my uh, equivalent to my six stop and went for a long exposure with the flowing water in the front of the uh, frame. The bank here as well has got some nice yellow flowers and then going off into the distance at the time when those trees were lit up nicely, I think it will be a nice photograph. Now that the sun is starting to set, there's a hill on the other side here which is actually blocking the sunlight. So I'll have to go back up now and hopefully catch the last of the sunlight which is what I wanted to try and achieve when I first arrived here. There is a composition that I think will work, but it'll all depend on whether or not the light is going to be at that when I get back up above anyway here. But yeah, definitely a uh, different shot again. What, not what I was expecting. I did get near some water. It's not salt water, but I did get near some water anyway. So I'm a small bit happy anyway, at least. But yeah, I'll show you this shot anyway here, and then we'll scramble back up the hill, try and catch the last of the light before I finish up for today.
final shot now that I'm going to get here today is the sun is just about to go down behind the hill that I mentioned a moment ago and we're getting the last bit of light now as well here that are hitting these trees that you see behind me. When I first arrived there's a log actually that's leading directly into the trees and it was being lit up by the light so I think I managed to get that shot and then with the bark of the trees as well also being lit up it kind of looks iridescent. Now again I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I've done all day today is I'm going to take a multitude of focus points um, and obviously from an exposure point of view as well because with the light now it's going to be going up the tree so I'm lucky that I got this shot here before the light actually disappeared off of this area because I think it will be very very nice when the light itself is lighting up that branch but yeah certainly another I suppose good day out um, hopefully the shots will be nice. I do think the one done by the water actually could be my favourite shot of the day but yeah nonetheless we'll always see when we get back to base anyway. Um, thank you very very much for watching this episode and like I said in my last episode as well thank you for sticking with me during the entire period of lockdown. It has certainly been a challenge but it's been a very good challenge because I firmly believe that you know the more you do something the better you can become and even though I'm not a woodland photographer I do know that if I get an opportunity to come back into the woodlands again it will be something that I won't be scared of let's just say because I've already spent so much time in the woods over the last 12 months but from here on out anyway I'm going to uh, try and enjoy my county and then once we get back into a bit of normality try and, try and enjoy the rest of the beautiful coastline that we have here in Ireland. So. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, slonga folks.